$10 from Anonymous that says, love this event and happy it benefits those who need help. Kill the animals, save the frames. All right, everyone, join us up on front for Artie Lightfoot with Gigas Blues. All right, I'm Gigas Blues. This is Artie Lightfoot on the couch. I got Black Badger 22, Green Z Saber, and uh, we're gonna sh we're gonna run this extremely well-known game for the Super Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One sec, I gotta get back to this title screen. All right, countdown five, four, three, two, one, go. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> All right. So this is the prologue stage. Um, we are going underground and discovering the stone tablet that'll talk about the legend of this... Uh, town and what's going on in the story. So who's the uh, guy behind him? Oh, Peck. Blue Kirby. Blue Kirby. <laughs> Blue Kirby. <laughs> Penguin Kirby. Penguin Kirby. <laughs> I can, like, throw him at everybody and sacrifice him. Wait, you can, you can throw him? Yeah, you didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of felt like that was abusive, but it, that's all right. <laughs> in games, you just got to do what you got to do. <laughs> So do we know what Artie is? Is he he's kind of like a foxy Yeah. Just a just your average <laughs> Super Nintendo sprite looking fox guy. He looks yeah. like a wild or kangaroo to me. Didn't you recently you just said that you realized like the other day he has boxing gloves on? Like two hours ago. <laughs> two hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a winged hat and boxing gloves. Who's this guy that you're following here? This uh, mole with the, the blue shell helmet? Grounder? Grounder. It's <laughs> <sighs> a pretty stressful sounding boss right there. <laughs> Sick buckets, man. So we got a bouncy tail. This bouncy tail move is going to be uh, used quite a bit in this run. Like there. <laughs> also, Also right there. Oh, man. That was a tough gl <laughs> He glitched tough that bucket drop. real hard. Wow. Woo! That, that was a tough one. The one of many glitches in this game. There's a lot of these uh, little, these little um, rotating platforms that are, uh, seem to be wanting him to go the opposite way. He is denying him that. He's going forward past these escalator airport thingies uh, in a mine. St strategically placed there. So you get two hits in this game. Well, when you get hit once, you lose pack. And if you get hit without pack, you lose a life. Fortunately, there are chests scattered throughout where you can just get pack back. Pack has this jellyfish motion that kind of soothes you. He's always happy, too. He's, he's so always happy. A, he's just really pumped. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll stay outside the minecart. You ride in the minecart, Peck. <laughs> Oh, this is another one of those things. Oh, but you can just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is probably a good time to say... It's a great for, speed of game. For every boss um, defeated in Artie, I will donate um, three air horns <laughs> to, the, to the stream. Wow. Yeah, Peck is just... He's okay with not even riding the backseat of the cart, but not even riding in it. <laughs> This guy gets the sham of this game. He has the extraordinary power to uh, float. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just got this goofy smile too. He's like, wee, wee. <laughs> Oh, grounder! Oh, he's on you, dude! Oh gosh, he's on you! I think this is the most awake I've been at 7 a.m. in the morning. So it looks like he's got a magic napkin. <laughs> Hashtag time zone. Hashtag shout out. <laughs> so the magic napkin allows you to block anything. The magic napkin? Yeah. It's a magic napkin. <laughs> Comes in handy <laughs> and, and these, <laughs> in these instances where you happen to be being attacked by a, a mole rat with a blue shield helmet. And at least he's wearing goggles. I mean, safety first, people. 
Well, he takes them off when he tropes his helmet. Oh, he's red. He's mad now. You made him so mad. Oh, gosh. So we're collecting. <laughs> 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 There you go. Thank you for that donation. So sorry, I interrupted you with my air horns. <laughs> no, you're fine. You can go ahead. With I forgot. With the collecting, you were collecting the jewels. I assume you were talking about the jewels. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. It's now not important. No, uh, not anymore. The air horn ruined it. So we have some demon tomatoes dropping from this tree for whatever reason. Demon tomatoes. Wow. Whoa. That's a medicine. <laughs> But guy comes in handy. So we got the balloon pack. How big are those packs, anyways? <laughs> <laughs> pack's been working out. <laughs> How are your packs, guy? <laughs> <laughs> we did say that guy guess was probably the most fit person to ever walk into a GDQ quarters. I mean, the guy. Yeah, I had to tell him not to bring his dumbbells to his uh, speed run today. <laughs> Oh, man. Whoa, that person looks way cooler than you. <laughs> Indiana Jones? In, that's, that's Indiana Jones? Yeah. Oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> he does look super cool. <laughs> See, that's what I was talking about. This tail jump comes in handy. Um, it's actually a normal move. You don't have to be super special to use it, but, you know, it's just a nice move to have. I've actually only seen this game one time. <laughs> I've beaten it. <laughs> <laughs> After I saw him play it a few times. I played it at my cousin's house a long time ago, but I, I couldn't understand it. It's so difficult. See, now that's a fox. That's what you need to look like <laughs> as a sprite. Ooh, nice. You have to land. First try. Yeah, first try. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. This is a very scripted fight. You just got to land on the switches in the proper uh, order. Yeah. All right, before you say anything. Oh. <laughs> what? It's a winged fox? <laughs> <laughs> what did those come a from? A flying fox. A flying fox? You said you watched it, I'm pretty right? sure that's a bat, right? <laughs> Could be. I, I should say I watched Eaten. it. You know that little thing where you can go 10 seconds ahead? I did that every once in a while. <laughs> so this scene is eaten. What are you eaten by? A giant worm. A giant worm. Yeah, Katri gets eaten. And then you're like, oh, I should get eaten too. Every time I try to touch my face or my glasses, I hit the microphone. So uh, I apologize for uh, ruining this, this feature presentation of this game. <laughs> <laughs> of this extremely well-known <laughs> Super Nintendo game. <laughs> yeah, we actually, I invited two people, and there are way more than two people in here, so that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably good out in the hallway. <laughs> Do I have time for a quick donation? Sure. Speaking of people in here, I have $50 from Cricket DX. Hey, Gagas Blues, Cricket here from right behind you. I've really enjoyed meeting, hanging out, and watching you play weird SNES and Game Boy games. <laughs> <laughs> Special mentions go to Mega Man Dr. Wily's Revenge oh, for being gosh. a cool game. Good luck on your Arby's, uh, I mean Artie, run. <laughs> Arby's. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> What's your opinion on Arby's, by the way? My opinion on Arby's is some of the best sliders <laughs> in all of America. For I mean, all of America. What's I'll your say favorite it. slider? Uh, SGDQ last year, I think I only ate Arby's for like probably the whole week because I only had like two dollars to spend. And you know what? Those sliders. When you're balling on a budget, you go you go Arby's. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Guy, guess what? Do you have any opinions on uh, the Arby's? I I hope they appreciate all the free advertising they're getting right now. Yeah. I'm <laughs> about to say if I don't see a T-shirt <laughs> in the next week, I'm gonna throw a fit. <laughs> I love their roast beef sandwiches. They they're are so cheapy as well. Yeah, they're very tasty. Very, very tasty. <laughs> <laughs> we are not. We are not paid by Arby's to say any of this. This is. These are true facts. I am very hungry right now. Yeah, <laughs> I do not like you. <laughs> I'm gonna go find an Arby's right after this. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you. 
<laughs> I'm guessing we should all get some RVs after this. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yes! Yeah. Yes. Let's get some RVs hype. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh man. <laughs> Artie, Artie's just doing his job on this video game. And he's like, I really wish people would talk about me more. <laughs> well, we are talking about him. <laughs> and and Punk's just the super mascot of this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Artie is the mascot of Arby's. Yeah. <laughs> Puck's just, I mean, Puck likes everything, so Puck could have the worst roast beef sandwich of all time, and he'd just be like, I'm so happy to be here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Puck has to have a lisp or something. He talks. He just <laughs> he smiles all the time. <laughs> oh man. Oh this this looks awesome. Oh, thank God. Went yeah, that really went way quick. faster than usual. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is a boss. Technically. Technically, I mean he got a jewel. So what are all these jewels? I'm just, oh, oh, wait, it's the cool, it's the cool version of you. Oh, he's, he's gone. Did he die? He's dead. Or is he? <laughs> Press F. We'll gun, find out. Gun, gun. <laughs> <laughs> I love how varied this world is. You go from a forest to the inside of a worm to an ancient pyramid and now out to sea. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> Welcome to Shark Week on Artie. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see the shark fin. Uh, welcome to Shark Week. So the looks like the raca raccoons are dropping chick pirates onto you. I wonder how Arby feels about that. Sounds like a good means of defense on a boat. I mean, I know there's a lot, but that just seems like the best one. I wonder how they would taste. <laughs> I, I do too. <laughs> they can put that into a slider. Yeah. It'd be great. Oh. I'll owl. I'll write. I'll write now. Uh, are there any owl sliders in Arby's? Probably not. They should make some. So who who <laughs> is this guy? It reminds me of a certain <laughs> Mega Man X character. Storm <laughs> Owls? No, they Mega Man clearly stole it from this. I mean, because this is way more well known. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's very clear. Yeah, Speak. that game came after this game, so... Was, was that technically a boss right. defeat? Yeah. That was a boss. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Mega Man X, can I do a quick plug? Sure. All right. Well, we have the Mega Man X bonus game, X2 bonus game tonight. Uh, that's only at $5,235 out of 25000 So if you want to see that, go ahead and give all that you got. Only 5,000? Mm. You people got to step, step it up. <laughs> it's, it's, go to, it's go time. Rise and shine. <laughs> you know you want to see that owl pirate in Ooh, X2. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know there was an owl pirate in X2. <laughs> like I said, they, they, they took it from the better, the better game. Uh -oh. I love how he can take one hit from Spikes. He's already better than Mega Man. He can, take, he can, he can at least take one hit. If you kind of think about it, the host is doing such a great job by just saying, hey, can I say something here? The host is a lot like Puck in this instance. Think about it. Just happy to be here, coming along for the ride. Only half as adorable, though. Oh. <laughs> You're giving Puck so much credit. What a guy. Always back. Little penguin Puck. Yeah, he returns at the start of every stage. So what are these, those little green, I mean, they don't look like Goombas. They're dinosaur fish. Oh, dinosaur fish. <laughs> that, that's awesome. I wonder if they're that's the so kind good of, for them. I wonder if they're the kind of fish that Arby's makes their sandwiches from. <laughs> Is somebody getting the Arby's count? How many times we've said Arby's so far? <laughs> Somebody's going to be like, I'll donate one dollar for every time somebody says Arby's. I was literally about to say that. I will donate one dollar. Someone send me a count. You should donate in roast counting. beef sandwiches. <laughs> Doctors Without Borders is like, we have sandwiches. Whoa, is that, was that Wolf from Star Fox? I just want, again, another character stolen from this game. <laughs> oh man, slapping my knee, it's so funny. 
<laughs> Here, Gygus, you can talk about the game at any moment you would like to. <laughs> <laughs> the game's not important. <laughs> it's a charity. The charity is important. Well, Arby's is important. So what is this thing you're holding? It doesn't matter anymore. It's done. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. So does, I think you're just trying to escape the fact that you stole something from this world to use. You're like, oh, what's this little L-shaped thing? Oh, it's going to help me deflect stuff. That's great. Definitely not the invisibility mirror. <laughs> this not is called the Underground Passage. Um, a post-popular belief. It's actually a passage... Underground. Yes, conveniently placed underground. Um, <laughs> oh, I wasn't sure the, the first cooler, time I heard it. The cooler fox is going to help you get through this wall. That's awesome. Why oh. can't I play as that guy? Yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> they gave you like the nerdy sidekick guy <laughs> who comes with Puck. <laughs> He's, it's, danger, it's dangerous to go alone. Take, take, take this. blue Kirby. Take this blue penguin Kirby thing. <laughs> See, Kirby also stolen from this. I mean, there's a lot of games that just took their ideas from such, uh, you know, Artie's amazing ideas. Oh. Box puzzle. This is a box puzzle here. We're going to need some silence, uh, some major focus. Oh, never mind. We already got it. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> so now we got spiky pop. Those are some powerful boxing gloves you got there just punching through rocks. Oh, Spike Peck? The spike mo peck. Oh, Spike Peck. Speck. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's just wanting me to eat everything. He's like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> This one's a little more angry. You can see in his eyebrows, he's now went from happy and excited to subtly angered. Um, he doesn't even know why. Just millennials is probably why that's about it. He's just Must angry at him. Spikes on his head. Must, Must be. be hurting him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> who put those spikes in his head? Who put these here? Who did, the, who did this to my friend? There's <laughs> a lot of waterfalls in here. He just. It's an underground ate passage. That skeleton. He's so <laughs> angry. Uh, that was a good underground passage. <laughs> was good was it underground? I looked underground to me. It said underground passage. This is Bowser's <laughs> castle. I mean, sorry. This is. <laughs> Visconti's castle. Another thing. Whose castle? Visconti's castle. I have no idea who that is. Has he bought it or is it on lease? From Bowser. From Bowser. <laughs> <laughs> Bowser's his landlord. Look, you're going to have to cut your own grass. I'm not hiring somebody to do it anymore. <laughs> well, I just did the hardest part in the game when we'll first try, so oh, that really? was cool. <laughs> the throne room. This doesn't look like my bathroom. Um, <laughs> this is... Oh, second try. Glitch. Okay. There you go. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I, knew, I knew he was going to do that. I knew it. <laughs> so he gets the ability to just float. Ride on nothing. <laughs> he is. He's like, uh, careful, careful, <laughs> careful. And Puck's, Puck's like, what are you doing? What are you're, you? you're supposed to be riding me. <laughs> he's, he's like, I'm, that's supposed to be me. <laughs> mind. He's still got that smile on his face. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Drills and spikes. I love drills and spikes. I love those. They're my favorite. <laughs> he's like Buddy the Elf. Smiling's my favorite. It's my favorite smiling. Yeah, he, he doesn't care. He just passes through everything. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he should be doing this mission. Clearly, he is stronger than I. Yeah. Oh, this I is don't know why they don't let him be the main character. <laughs> yeah. Should we thought this? Um, Sidekick guy. Sidekick guy. <laughs> <laughs> See, again, another great use of the bouncing tail um, ability. Also, yeah, not difficult to do. Just any, anybody can do that. It's, it's really just a normal part of the game. But, just wanted to talk about it a little bit. Mario can't do that. <laughs> can I talk about some donations real quick? Yes, sure. you can. Thank you, Puck. <laughs> um, no one's donated any uh, Arby's yet. Oh, but oh. they're lost. Uh, we do have $150 from Steven148. That's a lot of Arby's. That's a lot of Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I could be watching while at work, but at least I can still donate. Keep up the great work, everyone. Can't wait to watch it all later. So are these like magic sliders? 
<laughs> I'm just trying to understand. Yeah. It, oh, Magic floating sliders. There's stars falling from them, so they're definitely magic. Oh, this is the Hall of Mirrors. Yeah, the Hall of Mirrors. What's up? Uh, nothing much. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very important part of the game. Requires a lot of focus. Um, <laughs> we actually had to do a small little um, moment of silence earlier when he was running the game, but uh, we just decided to talk to each other instead. <laughs> this is very intimate. I'm, try I'm trying not to talk too much because he's trying to listen. A little bit. And use his napkin, his yeah. forceful napkin. <laughs> <laughs> everybody doing good out there? How's everybody good? Hey, everybody. Hey. Woo! Arby's! Yes! Arby's! Arby's! <laughs> Magical napkin at Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very important part of the game. Requires Gygus' um, super focus, as you can see. <laughs> um, he has glasses on, so he's, you know, very... He has to see everything, so... It's funny, they're taking a picture of this moment. Ooh. It's probably going to look like <laughs> you're not playing the game, but indeed you are still playing the game. <laughs> Man. I wish I had some Arby's right about now. Yeah, this would be Don't a great you? time to undo some Arby's from, you know, the paper, that sweet sound of the paper. And uh, just get a slider. Puck now has joined <laughs> the crew um, in this auto. You can't see him, but he's there. I guess he wants Arby's too. So where are you... Tell us a little bit about your strategy here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's he, over. He takes damage. He's like, no nope. more, no more funny business. <laughs> Super serious. <laughs> As you can see, uh, Artie also knows how to moonwalk, um, or at least hover. I don't know why he doesn't use this move at any other part of the game, but it's a great move there. Man, it's a good stride on that run. Better yeah. stride than Sonic for sure. But, uh, I mean, more Bubsy ish. Oh, more Bubsy ish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gandalf, sick. Oh, that's great. We're gathering our spirit bomb. Mm -hmm. Who are these uh, old people? Not really sure. <laughs> people from the home. They just out and about. <laughs> from the home. Uh, what are they looking at? <laughs> the ocean. <laughs> All right, we're here to rescue Nina. Nina? Nina. Oh, she yeah. died. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that was a boss or not, but she is dead. <laughs> oh. What's, that's we have this magic fish here. Oh, that's King Visconti. Oh, well, that's a good name. <laughs> so he's, he's trying to collect all the rainbow shards so he can make a wish. Just like collecting the Dragon Balls. What do you think his wish is? Let's mm, to get more magical. Well, obviously Nina's not important anymore. <laughs> yeah. Well, Nina was it, but you killed her. So. <laughs> Maybe he wants to be the most powerful magic fish out Whoa. there. Dude, that dude just stole your thunder. He just jumped in there. Totally stole your thunder. Or get it, thunder. Yep. There's lightning moves. It's gone. The gone lightning. All right. It's okay. This is wart. Yeah, I was about to say, sick wart. He's uh, about to throw vegetables at me. <laughs> <laughs> it's wart with armor. Level 2 armor. <laughs> World of Warcraft wart right here. Wart of Warcraft. <laughs> he's changing colors. He's so mad he's changing colors. He's a mood ring. Oh, he's, he's a mood ring. <laughs> mood ring. <laughs> oh, man. Puck is having a blast, though, this whole entire time. As soon as Nina went down, he was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, wow, that yeah, was a he's... swift punch Ooh, there. Yeah. Look out. Whoa, all right. Whoa. Fuck's gone. Way to go. <laughs> <laughs> he was my buffer. <laughs> he was your buffer. <laughs> he was your iframes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I hate when he does the backwards jump. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> like, he, come on, really? He, he jumped backwards and punched forward. <laughs> Time. Time. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I was too busy. <laughs> Paying attention to that, Is that guy. that world record? It might be. That was a really good pace. 33, 23.32 is the time. Oh, it's not. It's like 11 seconds off. Dang it, Artie. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was Puck's fault. He kept on holding you back. <laughs> so 
She's gone. She's just gone. Oh, the cool guy's back. Why isn't he? Why isn't this game about him? Yeah, but he had the last one. Oh. So also Sonic took this idea of using you know emeralds as a. <laughs> we don't have to. <laughs> also, this is the year. These are the Infinity Stones. Um, <laughs> Biggest crossover <laughs> ever. <laughs> Soon Darth Vader will descend upon. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most regular looking princess I've ever seen. Like, doesn't even look like it. Looks like a southern belle. <laughs> Wait, she's human. You are animals. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> Do I need to cut your mic off? <laughs> you might. Well, we should go get some Arby's after this. Are you treating? <laughs> So this is already Lightfoot. You need to, what? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right, <I'll>, Sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, awesome. <laughs> oh. Maybe we should just plan our trip to Arby's right now. Yeah. Um, Shout-outs to Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> Shout-outs to the puck. Shout-outs Shout to, to puck. sliders. <laughs> Shout-outs to roast beef sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> Shout outs to the Arby's community, yeah, for real. Yeah. Shout outs to the Arby Lightfoot community. Um, I think I'm the only active person. Uh, shout outs to this $250 game. <laughs> <laughs> that, how many Arby's roast beef sandwiches did we get with that? How many times have you said Arby's? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Arby Lightfoot, everyone. Thank you so much, Gygus Blues, for that amazing Artie Light foot run. Uh, we will go to a quick Twitch ad, and then we'll be back soon for the start of Genesis Block. Hey everybody, welcome back to GDQ. I'm your host, Liz Starr, and welcome. Thank you for joining me on this nice morning. Or if it's not morning for you, hi, wherever you are. Uh, we have a few donations I will get to. We have $50 from Justin W28. It says, E3 and SGDQ in the same month. What an amazing time to be live. Keep, the keep up the donations and let's see that Mega Man X2 incentive met. As a reminder, that is still pretty far away, but I believe in you. I believe in you. $25 from cabs. Ah, uh, yeah, it's that time of year again. Take a week off work, rejig the sleep schedule, and watch the highest of gaming skill while donating to a great cause.
$250 from Anonymous. Nothing said, but thank you so much for your donation. If you're looking for other incentives to donate, uh, Enter the Gungeon is really close to its alternate costume. Only $212 left. So uh, if you're looking for something, that's also a good something. $25 from Innate Conversations. First time watching GDQ Live. Good luck to all the runners and have fun. $25 from the Jose Gaming. Thanks to all the runners for making this possible. And thanks to everyone who works hard in the front ground and the background for this amazing event. Thank you so much for your donation. Speaking of people helping us in the background for this amazing event, I do want to give a quick plug out to the Yeti.